my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi guys, I got something very exciting to show you. And it's right here on the table. And uh, something I've been wanting for quite a while, and they're very hard to obtain. So we're going to go right to it. Hi, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And what you're looking at is what's going to give the cube the magical chime again. These are the official Apple Mac Pro speakers M7963. And these are extremely hard to come by. And I got these today. Um, they do work. Um, I plugged them in. They actually, surprisingly, they work quite well. However, uh, the bong is, you, is is pretty light on the bong when it chimes up. You can hear it, but it's not as loud as it should be. And uh, the reason being is because what happens with all these Harman Harman Kardon speakers, or any speaker these days, they went from the paper. Uh, cones they went to foam and you can see these are deteriorating okay and it happens to all of them after a while I mean these speakers are over 20 years old and so anyway or close to it anyway and anyway uh, but they do work so but the good news is is I got a new foam kit for these so these will all come out we'll refoam it we'll re, we'll re attach it we the, the acrylic's pretty good on it. We're, we're going to polish it up. Uh, there's little pieces of black foam inside there. We're going to repaint these uh, white bezels. And uh, yeah, so they'll be looking brand new again. But yeah, um, these are fantastic. Uh, this is this is the sound amplifier for it. And uh, you can uh, see it right there. And I'll try to get this up there. And you can get all the model number on it there. It's the... Uh, Right there, it's the M7963. And uh, on this end, it's for a uh, headphone jack there. But yeah, um, I am just very, very excited. I, I uh, made uh, the uh, seller a couple offers, and uh, so he finally took my offer, and I got these off of eBay. And uh, like I said, these are very, very hard to come by. I mean, these things... Uh, if these are totally reconditioned, these things go for some big bucks. But, uh, yeah. Um, like I said, I had this USB sound card, and the sound worked fine on it, the one that uh, Greg Rucke had on his G4 Cube. But, um, you don't get the Apple chime on it. You have to have the actual Apple speakers to get the chime on it. And uh, it sounds just like my iMac over there. But yeah, I am just so happy that I got these things. And uh, the rubber O-ring is, is in perfect shape on the bottom of it here. That's what sits on it. It doesn't scoot. And uh, same with this one. It's on there. And like I said, there's just a few little scuffs. But we'll, we'll polish it up. This uh, uh, acrylic will polish up really good. And, uh, you know, it matches the cube quite nicely. And uh, the speaker wires themselves, they look really great. Uh, the USB cable itself also looks fantastic. Obviously, it's got the official Apple logo on it, so you know it's the it's the real deal. And then uh, the Apple logo is on the little uh, sound card in here too, the little sound amplifier that's built into this thing. <clears throat> and I suppose uh, if one wanted, they could take it apart and uh, analyze it and do a component. Uh, swap, you know, just copy the components and make your own. You could do that too. But uh, since I got this, I don't have to do that. So, anywho, uh, yeah, I'm just really, really excited that I got those. And uh, when they, when I <coughs> checked the uh, PO box today, um, the way they were packaged, I was like, oh my god, I hope these things arrived in one piece. And they did. They, they arrived real good. And uh, I did give the seller some uh, good feedback because uh, he, he worked with me on the price and stuff. But uh, yeah, so these are a two inch uh, foam uh, speakers as far as the uh, the surround on it. And it will attach to the cone here and to the outer frame. And uh, there's three screws that hold this that'll come out. 
then we can pull that out a little bit. We'll get that wire to slip through there and then uh, that way we can work with it and then we can get in there and kind of clean the inside out. You can see little pieces of black foam in there. Um, but uh, yeah, they look pretty good. They're not, they're hardly, they're really not even really yellowed. Uh, they look pretty, pretty clear. But we'll, uh, we'll hit them and if there's any yellowing, it'll come right off. But you know, it's kind of amazing. These things have some weight to them. They really do. Um, I suppose that these magnets are pretty heavy on them in there because these things will crank. I mean, it, you can see, see how the, see how the foam's just kind of falling apart on this thing. And like I said, I'm, I'm even amazed that they fire up. I mean, I, I turn the volume up on the keyboard and go, wow, these are pretty decent. But, you know, if you play music, they rattle really bad. That's just because the, uh, the, the, uh, drive rods just bouncing over the place on it there. But anyway, yeah, so I am so happy that I got those. And, um, I know Greg from Road K Mods, I know, I don't think he's got a hold of any of them yet because they are so darn expensive. They are hard to come by. And uh, so, Greg, uh, if you see this video, um, uh, I, I beat you to the punch. You see the, the thing's all falling out of it there. But I've already ordered them, and uh, they're really cheap. They're only like, uh, for, I, I ordered two sets, and uh, I think they were only, uh, they weren't even $10. That's, that was even including the shipping. They were very, very inexpensive. So anyway, yeah, guys, this is a quick video. Just wanted to show you, and um, I will uh, ha I'll plug this in and uh, let you listen to it on the bong on it here. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna you're gonna get to hear hear the sound on it here. Let me get this turned around here. I gotta plug this in here. So all right. So hold on just a second here, and uh, you can hear the bong. Hey, it's faint, but you can hear it. So anyway, yeah, guys. So, um, like I said, as soon as uh, when I get that foam kit, I'm gonna video it how we do it from start to finish. We're gonna we're gonna do everything. We're gonna we're gonna glue it all up. We'll take the old one out. We're gonna glue it all up. We're gonna repaint the bezel here. We're gonna polish the outside and the inside the best we can. Get all cleaned out and then. Uh, it might be time lapse because it you know it'll take like 24 hours or so for the glue to dry. But anyway, uh, one will we'll do it, and that way you'll see, and then you'll get to hear how much louder it will be. And like I said, I you know I can turn it up on the keyboard; uh, they, they'll power up really good. But um, like I said, they're very very rattly, and that's just because this foam's all deteriorated. But the cone itself is fine on it. So, alrighty. So anyway. Okay guys, I just wanted to share that with you today that I got those uh, Apple Pro speakers for the G4 Cube and I uh, wanted to show you that they do work, uh, but like I said, we're going to do a little rehab on them and make them work just as good as the day they were made as soon as we get those refoam rings for the speakers and we'll show you how to do all that because I know a lot of people will be very interested how to, to re uh, uh, do the speakers. I know how to do it the old way with the old cl uh, paper and stuff, but I've never done it with the phone, but it's the same process. So anyway, guys, um, just want to remind you, the giveaway's still on. We're still 10 subscribers short before we can do the giveaway. So tell all your friends, uh, like the videos, uh, tell all your friends uh, so we can get this, uh, find this nice USB microphone, a nice new home, okay? Uh, it's going to be a really good, uh, useful microphone for whoever wants to use it. Like I said, you can do voiceovers on it. You want to do video editing. You want to just do your uh, videos all the time and use that. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so that's it, guys. So this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And uh, you guys have a great week. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.